All right. Now, what I think is a little bit weird, maybe if you're not haven't seen this before, just write this down here. If you can actually sort of move the letters around, and, but but you've got to you've got to sort of create like a path here. So if I go W P T, that's the same as D H V. Yeah. See, so yeah, I bring that W out in front, and that's the next one they're looking for here. So you just got to do that for um. For for the and then why don't you do the third one for us? Same idea. Okay. Uh, w T P and no, can, you cannot do that. that wait, uh, not do that. Um, is that one? You're you're well. You can, but it's it's like once you've established an order, it's it's kind of better to just like move the T back around in front and then the G back in front because this will make oh. this will matter in future problems also. So T W P V D H like that. Okay, I got it. Unfortunately, this is like really, really hardcore specific. Has to be this way. No exceptions. Iron fisted rule rules. There really are not like exceptions here. You have to do it this way. The order matters. Super, super matters. Okay. Okay. Now, what's nice here is that the letters actually tell you a ton. Okay. They tell you a ton. Like P and H go together. P and G go together. W and D go together. So guess what? P is congruent to H. Okay, because they, they're in the same position. Angle T is congruent to angle G because they're in the same position. And same with, with the last letter W and D. Now, more interesting, let me let me grab this one more time because this is going to lead us into the next thing. I'll just grab this and grab, uh, let's see if I can grab the first congruent statements. I'll have to redo that one. All right, triangle P, T, W congruent to triangle uh, H. D. So do you see how P letters P and T go together? They're kind of squeezed together. That's right here. H and G, do you see how that's also the double line? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, if we go P and W, G and D, do you see how those match up? Yeah. And then if we do the last ones here, which is kind of that wraparound, it's the W to P, or it depends on the order, but if we be D to H here, see how those match up? Mm -hmm. So the letters, that's why it's so important to get the triangle congruence statement correctly, because then it leads all the other stuff. Okay, and that's, that's gonna matter a lot here for the next ones, next two. So I'm gonna, Grab number two here. You don't even need to draw it. Like we could draw it, um, but we don't have to. And I'll try to try to show you that here. I think I understand it without trying it, maybe. I'm just writing the congruence statements. You may want to ask your instructor one question, which is like, is it okay? Is it okay to just use a single letter for the angle, or do you have to use three letters? I think it's okay to use one, but I'm not your teacher. I'm not grading you. The sides are kind of like we just what we just did. So, uh, actually, wait, never mind. I might need to draw that, actually. Well, it's it's just following the sequence of letters though. A B, the first two letters are congruent to M N, but the order matters. The order absolutely matters. Like you can't switch N and M. It has to be A B to M N. There has to be an order. Yeah, and then the next about, one would be like, go ahead. I was going to ask, uh, what about B E? But you were yeah. So that would be N to P, not P to N. It has to be kind of in that. And it's like a path. Okay, what about E A? Yes, that would be good. I yeah. would rather you do E E A because that's kind of the like the direction you're going. What would the other one be? 
then uh, PM. PM, good. Okay, now underneath it, it's kind of unclear, but I guess it's referring to the triangle itself. Um, I would just rotate the letters for the triangle, like move E to the front, like we were doing, you know, P to the front, like we were doing. I would, I would do that as a, a way to, to do this. I don't know if that makes sense, but you're saying triangle can grow into triangle. So like just writing an, an example using the yeah. A, yes. B, E. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell me what to put here and I'll, I'll give you a, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down if it's, if there's an issue. Let's try. Uh, let's try. Would. Uh, would. What about, yeah, I know, you, did you say earlier that we can't just flip them? I don't like that as much as just moving them. Like, like it's A, B, E, taking that E and putting it in front and just pushing the letters to the right and then doing oh. the same thing again if you wanted to, B, E, A. I think when you start scrambling the letters, you can really be in a, be compromised potentially. But this, these okay. shifts, these are this is called what a cipher, a Caesar a Caesar cipher. But it's a it's a easy way to do it without mixing up what letters. If we just like move the P to the front and have P M N. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Keep it super simple. Right. Um, so I'll let you do the next one. And if you have any questions or whenever you're done, I can check your work, but uh, give give this one a try, please. You want the angles or just the, just the sides? Both, both, whenever you have them. So Q, uh, uh, Q and Q to J, R is equal to L, and uh, Y is equal to S. Right, so just, just, I'm being really picky here, but you have to say, Angle Q congruent to angle J. Make sure you oh. write the angle symbol. Equals so angle Q is congruent to angle J. That's how you want me to say it? Well, that's if you write the correct thing, you can say the wrong thing. So just as long as it's written like this, that's good. But if you're oh. in the classroom, they want to hear it correctly. Uh, yeah, I remember to say it and write it correctly. It's, it's the, if you take in like Spanish, it's like you can't speak Spanglish, you know, and, and the and teacher be okay with it. It's... A little, little awkward here. So the sides, um, let me know when you got something there. So QR and JL, and the first one. Okay. Do you want me to say QR is congruent to JL? So the full thing would be segment, line segment QR is congruent to line segment JL, but this is fine the way you're saying it. That, okay. That's that, but I know what you're saying, but just know that there is like a perfect way to say it, which okay. may or may not matter. Okay. RY is congruent to LS. Okay. 
and YQ is congruent to LJ? Uh, it would be SJ. Oh, SJ, sorry. Yes, yes. All right, give me another triangle congruence whenever you are ready. Okay, so Y, Q, R, and S, L, J. Yeah. Uh, S, J, L. Oh, S, J, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's easy to do this. That's why I try to make it as simple as possible. There are actually a lot of other ways to label these, and, and you can do what you were suggesting earlier. I've just found that this kind of is, is easier the way we're doing it. And, and you were kind of onto something like it is a good idea to draw the triangles. It's just not necessary if you understand how the, the, the letters all match up to one another. All right. So we actually know how to do this already. Um, TU is the second and third letter. So it's going to go with LM, second and third letter. Can you tell me what KM would go to? Would it go to US? Has, it's got to be the same order. So K is the first letter, M is the third letter. So it'd be S oh, and U. -U. Uh, I was looking at the graph, not the. Exact. Yeah. And unfortunately, the, the, like these are almost useless. I mean, they're not completely useless, but that's something to you really don't even want to look at those. Just look at the, the letters there. What about LK? Yes. Yes. Very good. All right. Um, keep going there for angle M. Okay. M is U. T good. is L. And all right. S S M U S T would be uh, M L K. You're one letter off, so the order matters. Like it's it's U U. Then you go back to the original S to T. It's oh, like so it's like three one two, yeah. Ah, weird. <laughs> I agree, but this is the this is the uh, you know the animal we're fighting here today. It's a, a tough one. The same with the UST. The order does matter. It's got to match that order. It's the same thing. It's M K L. Triangle MKL. How about the uh, uh, triangle? US. The US. What does that become? That test, that would be uh, LMK. Very good. Any questions on what we've done so far? Uh, no. No, I think I think I got it. Yeah. All right. So for the next problem here, we're going to start by doing the same thing we did before, like CM. CM is congruent to YR. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to go look and be like, well, what is YR? And I'd actually like you to do, I think it'll help you to do both. To like actually like write write the letters and then actually go look for what it is. What is Y R? Now Y R is uh, eleven M. Eleven meters, yeah. And then B M, you know, if you look at the letters here, it's the first and the third. It's congruent to Z R, or equal to Z R in this case. And then you go look for that in the drawing. That would be fifteen M. Okay, and then uh, how about Y to Z? Wait, what is, okay, that would be uh, C, B, C, B. C, C, B, and what is C, B? And that's uh, 45 degrees. These are segments. Segments? Uh, segments are lengths. Would, would it be also 11M? Looks pretty equal. I feel like you're just not looking oh, wait, at the triangle. Like AM. Over there. AM. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Well, uh, you had the right letters. Y to Z is 
C to B. C to B is on the left here. What's the length from C to B? That's 8M. 8, 8M, eight yeah. Okay. Angle B is congruent or is equal to angle Z. What's the measure of angle Z? That's uh, 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Angle M is congruent to angle R. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. This is the first one we don't. Okay, so we'll come back to that. What is angle Y congruent to? Um, that's it's congruent to or equal to. Sorry, I oh, uh, C. And what is angle C? Uh, <clears throat> uh, one hundred and three degrees. Good. Now, what do you know about the three angles in a triangle? What do they add up to? Three angles in a triangle. They're like uh. Do you remember what the, the triangle sum conjecture theorem? No, I don't remember that. All right, so the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 always. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can find the missing, missing angle. So R is equal to 180? No. The three oh. angles in a triangle add up to 180. What is the missing angle? Um. Yep. So thirty-two degrees. Okay. So that's angle R is thirty-two degrees. All right, so we got five minutes left. I want you to take two or three minutes here and see how many of these you can do on your own. Okay. And I'm happy to check them as you go or you know, at the end. Uh, let me know what's best for you. Okay, is uh, A through C supposed to be like a line? Yeah, they're all segments, yes. Okay. You need three letters for an angle or a single letter for an angle. A is uh, C, A. Uh, B is... Just give me the Visit numerical LA. value. Give me the numerical value of them. That's... Um... Numerical? Like... Uh... The number. The number like these all ended up being numbers that's what i'm asking for you can oh. you can do the letters too if you want um that was just to help here but i'm just interested in the number the numerical value okay so a is uh, 13 centimeters okay agreed Um, a B is uh, 21 centimeters. Okay. You don't have XN. Uh, you do. It's the same as the, as XL. Oh, so it's a, uh, It's also 21. Nope. What is XL? You have it written on this. Well, it's written on my screen, um, hopefully on your paper okay. still. Those are just. It's on the screen. XL, right here. XL, right there. What is XL? Oh, it's thirteen centimeters. Yeah, I, I mean, this isn't oh. this, this isn't a chess game. It's 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 like what is it? It's right there. Boom, got it. I was looking okay. at the graph. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, yeah, I get yeah, it's definitely not on the graph. Like, hey, man, it's on the graph. Right there, we go. Now it's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. All right. So let's go to uh, the angles now. What's the measure of angle L? 
Mm -hmm. measurement of angle L is um. Angle L. Uh, L is first. Is it? Nine. Okay, nice. now let's put that in the drawing here. In an isosceles triangle, if the sides are the same, what do you know about the angles? The sides are the same. The angles are the same. Uh -huh. All right, so if angle N is 29 degrees, what is angle C? Also three. Degrees. It's also 29 yes. degrees. Yes. Find x, x plus 29 plus 29. That's to equal 180. That's subtract them all. Yep. Good. It's 180. And you're Wait. subtracting these numbers from 180? Can't be yeah, the I same? See. Oh, one second. Let me try again. Here we go. It's 122. Very good. And then backwards. All right. Great job today. You, uh, we did a lot. Thank you. Um,